Good morning, Twin Cities. This is WKRAP Hip Hop Radio, bringing you news, weather, and the finest grooves and fattest beats of the 80s, 90s, and today. Well, it looks like another sunny day here in the land of 10,000 lakes. Our forecast calls for highs of 78 degrees, as much sunshine as your skin can stand. On a slightly less sunny note, we bring you our top news story of the day. Police have announced that infamous serial killer James the Shape Shapely escaped from the Carpenter Institute last night where he had been committed for the past two years. Reports are vague as to how Shapely escaped from the maximum security facility. Hennepin County Police and Sheriff's Departments are forming a task force to try and catch Shapely, considered one of Minnesota's worst serial killers. Officials advise to be on the lookout for Shapely as he's considered armed and extremely dangerous. He is described by police officials as a 21-year-old Caucasian, short, medium build, with long blonde hair. More updates as they come in. Now here's an extra long hour of nothing but the... Jimmy, you fucking got away with it. <laughs> yeah! Here's the shapes file from the asylum, Jake. Thanks, Sony. Why the hell is he smiling? <laughs> Fucking freak. He was told he was being booked for murdering over 30 people. <laughs> Little fucker didn't stop grinning until the next day. Anyway, we'll be getting the security tape to Shapley's room soon. Sergeant Peterson's bringing it over. Any ideas yet on how he escaped? None. It's the damnedest thing, Jake. None of the security alarms were triggered, no doors busted, no tunnels dug, nothing. According to this record of the nightly rounds, the last person that should have seen Shapley alive was Dr. Samuel Rainey. A couple of the orderlies I questioned said he checked out of the Institute before Shapley's escape was discovered. Have you talked with Dr. Rainey yet? You haven't heard, Jake? They found Rainey dead about half an hour ago. His neck was broken. His body was folded in half in the laundry hamper. Stripped nude. Hell of a way to go. It's the shape's work. How long ago did this happen? The examiner on the scene estimated his time of death probably 11, maybe 12 hours ago. It's 11 a.m. right now. The guards at the asylum record Dr. Ramey checking out at exactly midnight, about a half hour before Shapley's found missing. Ramey supposedly checks in on him at 10.45 p.m. That's roughly around the time of Ramey's death. So here's my question, Tony. How could a man who was supposedly dead at around 11 p.m. be seen leaving the same place he was killed roughly an hour later? I don't know, Jake. Examiners aren't always accurate. Let's wait until the tape arrives, okay? I haven't heard from you since your unit shipped out from Baghdad three days ago. Well, I thought you'd be in last night. I ran into my old friend Jimmy at the airport. He took me out for a few drinks at the Hexagon. Mm-hmm. And? I got shit-faced. Uh-huh. Good thing you let me crash at his place or you would have had to deal with the Mansons on your doorstep. Oh, God forbid. Still, Ezra. It isn't like you to just show up out of the blue like this. You should have called first. I know, baby. I, I just wanted to do something unexpected. Aren't you glad I surprised you? Well, I think I can forgive you just this once. Here's the video you wanted, Jake. Thanks, Tony.
You want to know why he's called The Shape, Jake? Uh, not really, Tony. Well, when he was caught, he kept raving about how he was a master of forms, constantly shifting away from this terrible shape of humanity. I'm your shape. I'm everyone. Some bullshit like that. Shapely looks restrained under those sheets, doesn't he? Uh, he should have been. But we found a hairpin under one of the sheets. He could have used that to pick the locks on the restraints. He was also supposed to be doped up, but he... Shh. Here's Raimi. What was that, Jake? Holy shit, Jake. A master of forms. Shifting from this terrible shape. Shapeshifter. I'm your shape. I'm everyone. <laughs> this is WKRAP Hip Hop Radio, and now our top news story. Police found the body of Private Ezra Carson last night in a dumpster behind the Hexagon Bar in South Minneapolis. Carson is reported to have been returning from a second tour of duty in Iraq, where he is said to have experienced heavy combat in Fallujah and on the streets of Baghdad. Hell of a return reception, Ezra. Welcome home, soldier. <laughs> <laughs> 